As an art lover with a fondness for rusticity, the teenage Van Gogh became a great aficionado of the Barbizon School while working as an art dealer in The Hague. The Barbizon School, founded in France around 1830, was so-called because its members painted in the woodlands of the Barbizon Forest southeast of Paris. Most of them specialized in landscapes like these, but the Barbizon artist Van Gogh most admired was a figural painter, Jean-Francois Millet. Millet's career had taken off around 1848, a year in which workers' uprisings across Europe challenged the prevailing social order. His reputation in the early years was built on portrayals of country life in all its harshness, and his notorious sower, shown at the Salon of 1850, was viewed by many as a volley in a simmering class war. Even as Millet became a fixture at French salons in the 1860s, pictures like this one continued to rankle centered upon a farmer almost broken by seemingly fruitless labor, his man with a hoe rudely contradicted Urbanite's cherished assumptions about the boundless fecundity of French farmland and the simple pleasures of pastoral life. Unlike the playful beribboned shepherdesses and farmhands who had cavorted across 18th century canvases, the hoer and the sower were lumpen and brutish. Their bodies and faces marked by deprivation and exhaustion, and some suspected the sort of angry dissatisfaction that led to revolt. The muddy palettes and caked surfaces of Millet's paintings reflected the muckiness of his subjects' lives, leading Millet's contemporary, Théophile Gautier, to remark that the sower seems to be made of the earth he works. By the time Van Gogh encountered Millet, the artist had mellowed and won official honors, his pictures widely collected and reproduced. And when Van Gogh, having renounced the art trade, decided to make pictures instead of selling them, he looked to Millet's work for guidance. Living at that time in the isolation of a Belgian mine town, far from other artists, Van Gogh made Millet a mentor in absentia by studiously copying prints after his paintings. In the process, Van Gogh became especially attached to the sower. I have already drawn the sower five times, he wrote, and I am so completely absorbed in that figure that I shall take it up again. This prediction was borne out in his practice. Some eight years later, Van Gogh would return to the sower in paintings made at Arles, and, it, and the last of his multiple takes on Millet's striding seed caster was made just weeks before Van Gogh's death. 